can't believe you remembered and you made me fry green tomatoes. <laughs> They're delicious. It's your recipe. Are they cold? No, they're just the way we used to have them at the Whistle Shop Cafe. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish. For this week, I'm sick. What are you going to do? So I wanted to make something super easy and fried green tomatoes from fried green tomatoes while not cold curing seemed like a nice, wholesome, heartwarming option. So bathrobe or not, I've got my apron ready to go. Let's get cooking. First thing we need is a very, very sharp knife. So I'm going to sharpen my knife. I'm going to show you guys how to do this on an episode of Basics in the very near future. Once we get our knife nice and sharp, it's time to slice up our green tomatoes into about quarter inch slices like this. I'm going to do four whole green tomatoes resulting in about 18 tomato slices that I'm going to place on a paper towel lined baking sheet and sparingly sprinkle them with kosher salt. This is not only going to help season the tomatoes, it's going to make them weep their excess moisture. While those sit for about half an hour, we're going to make remoulade. Starting with about three quarters of a cup of mayo, maybe a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, the juice of one half of one lemon, about a teaspoon of whole grain mustard, one or two finely minced cloves of garlic, and maybe one or two finely chopped scallions. This recipe is pretty eyeballable, so just taste it, see if you like it. Then also we're going to add about a tablespoon of chopped capers, a few glugs, maybe three to four of Worcestershire sauce, a few glugs of hot sauce, preferably Louisiana style, and then a couple spices. We're going to add some cayenne pepper some smoked paprika. Whisk all that to combine and boom, we've got remoulade, the sauce in which we will be dipping our fried green tomatoes and now onto the frying of the green tomatoes. In one of three bowls, we're combining a cup of cornmeal with half a cup of breadcrumbs and then in another bowl, about a cup and a half of white flour with a few shakes each of onion powder, white pepper, and garlic powder. You could also add some dried herbs, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of kosher salt and then I'm gonna whisk it all together with my adorable little whisk. And then in the center bowl are wet ingredients, two whole eggs, and maybe a half cup of buttermilk. Beat together with a fork and there you have it, our breading station. Now let's see how our tomatoes are doing. As you can see, or maybe not see, they've wept a great deal of their moisture which we're gonna blot off with a paper towel. And now it's time to bread. We're gonna start with the flour dredge, flipping repeatedly to make sure that we get good even coverage, shake off any excess and drop it into the buttermilk egg mixture. Pick it up by its side so you don't scrape off any of the breading and drop into our cornmeal and breadcrumbs. Press down firmly to make sure that the breading fully adheres and place onto a parchment lined baking sheet until we're ready to fry. Rinse and repeat with the rest of your tomatoes. The breading can be very fragile, so just be careful to pick up the tomatoes by their sides. And now over on the stove, I have a few inches of vegetable oil heated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. In cast iron, no less, for a little extra southern cred, we're going to drop our breaded tomatoes in there one batch at a time, making sure they're not overlapping or touching too much. They'll start at the bottom of the pan, but as they finish cooking, they will rise to the top. Go ahead and remove them and let them drain on paper towels when they are golden brown and crisp. Repeat with the remaining batch of tomatoes, and now it's time to plate up with our remoulade. Look at that, picture perfect. Now let's see what these things taste like. Dip it in a little bit of the remoulade, have a bite, and then remember that your nose is all stuffed up and you can't taste anything. I'm gonna need a proxy taste tester here. What about my dad, ladies and gentlemen? Come on over. Hey, Babish. Thanks for having me on your show. You're my father. It's really super weird when you call me Babish, but okay. Go ahead and give those a try for me. Let me know how they are. Okay, you won't have to ask me twice to try these. Gosh, these are the most delicious fried foods I've ever had. I love them. Awesome. Would you say that they are clean plate club worthy? Oh, yeah. And with a little help from my buddy Sawyer, we did just that. Hey, look, Sawyer likes him so much, he's dancing. Yeah, he always does that. Mm. 